well, it's been a while since I've done a fishing report, so I guess it's we're overdue. It's been a while since I put up a fishing video, but we're trying. Anyways, uh, I want to start out with this report really quick with a couple announcements. Um, one, we still have plenty of time in our books for this fall. Uh, so if you want to get up and fish for this fall, we still got um, some really good prime dates still available. So just give us a call and contact us and we'll get you signed up for that. The other part of the announcement is still a little bugs flying around. Uh, the, we got plenty of space still available in our um, spay casting clinic that we're running the last weekend of August. Uh, just a quick um, overview of the of the uh, clinic, it, well, we're going to run one on Saturday and we're going to run a second one on Sunday. So you get to pick if you want to join Saturday or Sunday. And they start about 8, they run until about noon, 12.30. And there'll be two instructors um, for every five students. We're going to limit the class to 10 people. So that way um, it'll be me and Rick as the instructors. And we're going to focus a lot of our casting on what you will do and the Great Lakes tributaries, the type of casting that you'd be doing for salmon and steelhead fishing. And so bring you, if you have gear, great. If you don't, not a problem. We'll have plenty. And the nice thing about it, if you have gear, bring it, we can go over it, make sure everything's set right so you can be successful with, with casting and fishing. So we got plenty of time of still available for that. Once again, that's the end of August. And it is going to be focused on the style of casting we do for salmon and steelhead fishing. With all that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the fishing. You trout fishermen probably know exactly what um, I'm talking about. That This is getting the end of June, so a lot of our hatch activity is last light. It's one of these things where it gets hot during the day, you get a blur of activity right at dark, you get spinners coming back, you get bugs come up, the fish feed like crazy for about an hour and a half and the game's over. Or you go night fishing. Uh, early mornings right now, first light, um, there you can have some decent nymph fishing and some especially streams where the fish are more um, nymph oriented you can have some good nymph fishing first thing in the morning I'd be running some pheasant tails some hares ears like right around size 16 maybe some small like um, size 12 size 10 buggers might even work um, black owl and um, brown keep in mind that you know this time of year too in a lot of your trout streams there's a lot of baby crayfish, and brown trout love crayfish. They love crayfish, I think, more than smallmouth bass do. So that's something to keep in mind. The Plus, you can catch some of your better fish on those crayfish. So that's really what's going on. Probably about the first week of July, we'll start seeing a lot of our trichos. It takes a little bit for the fish to recognize trichos and then get feeding on them. But for you dry fly fanatics like me, um, that's a great hatch. We get a lot of nice dry fly technical fish and a lot of fun to fish that hatch. The warm water fisheries, uh, we're having good days, we're having bad days. It's been kind of hot and cold lately. We're not sure if that's to do with the weather. If we have some cool weather, then we have some cold, some hot weather, some cool weather. That back and forth has got them messed up. Or we're just sliding into that midsummer doldrums, which we can get into. Uh, some days we have some really great days to get into some nice bass and pike, and other days boy, we can throw our shoulders off. Welcome to fishing. So that's kind of what's going on there. Um, once again, with fall, I mean, it's yes, it's the end of June, yes, it's 90 degrees out, and it's kind of fun to fantasize about the upcoming fall. What I can tell you is the reports I'm getting from the lake is probably some of the best I've heard in a long time. Um, what I'm about to say, please keep in mind that I'm working with my crystal ball. I got a big crack in it, and it's real foggy, so it's a best guess as of now. Uh, the reports are from the charter guys, they're actually doing pretty good, better than they have in the last few years on Chinook salmon. So it looks like we got a nice population of mature Chinook salmon out there. They're also doing very well on the brown trout, which means there's a lot of brown trout in there. For us um, river fishermen, hopefully there'll be some brown trout left over for us, but they've been getting some nice fish, some big fish, so that's very good. So it looks like the brown trout fishing could be a little bit better this coming fall than it was last fall. 
and it looks like the samurai could be a little bit better this coming fall than it was last fall by the reports that we're getting um, from the uh, from the charter fleet for the steelhead I have no news and sometimes no news on steelhead is good news because the steelhead are further out in the lake and they have to burn a lot more gas to go chase them as we all know about the gas prices these guys are trying to watch every gallon of fuel they put into those thirsty boats so they're probably really not in the water where the steelhead hang out to target them so that seems to be what's going on with the tributaries um, the upcoming tributary season everything looks good so far uh, it's been kind of you know they've been having the same problems um, out in the lake wind is terrible and they have they've had their fair share of um, blows out in the lake which kind of keeps the fleet off but when they get on they're doing well so that's good news so that's pretty much an overview of what's going on um, hopefully we're gonna be we've been pretty slow on the fishing videos I'm still kind of hoping to get a, a trout fishing video out for everybody here it's gonna be a few weeks before I can get to that um, and of course then we'll be right into into the fall so just kind of as always just kind of hit that little subscribe and bell icon because we're gonna be a little bit inconsistent going forward on our videos so you want to be able to catch it when we pop up with that little bell icon but that's what's up really it's the middle of summer we're into the dog days so the trout fishing is going to be early mornings and late evenings um, our main hatches are winding down so it's going to be terrestrials and trichos for the rest of the summer maybe a little bit of streamer fishing the uh, trip season coming up yeah all signs are looking good so far just keep in mind my crystal balls beat up and um, yeah just stay tuned and as things happen we'll get it out to you and don't forget about the spay casting clinic that's coming up if you're interested get a hold of us and we'll get you signed up oh by the way the cost for the spay casting clinic will be hundred twenty five dollars per person so I forgot to tell you that in the beginning so once again folks hope to see you on the river good fishing and until next time see ya this is Jay at JPEC Guides in Lost River Fishing. We are a year-round fly fishing catch and release guide service. We fish the Lake Ontario tributaries. And then during the spring and the summer, we also fish the inland trout streams, classic dry fly fishing. During the heat of the summer, we will do the warm water fishing for bass and pike. If you are interested in any of our outings or have any questions, please feel free to email us at fish at lostriversfishing.com. Hope to hear from you, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact us.